So my name is uh, Benjamin Bory, and I am the applications team lead. So my role is essentially to uh, develop uh, in which directions we are going to apply this uh, technology, which means uh, which market, uh, which devices ex exactly. We see that there is a value for this specific tool. So a nanofabricator light is this machine. It essentially is a um, tool that allows you to deposit at specific places using atomic layer deposition, right? So that comes from the technology that was invented here, DALP, Direct Atomic Layer Processing. And what it can do specifically is take a material, put it here, move aside and deposit another material on the side or another thickness or another characteristic of this type of materials, essentially. It's, it's very special in, in one sense, is that if you look at the semiconductor uh, industry process, what you usually do is you take a wafer, right, and then you coat the entire surface if you want to investigate material properties, for example. And you would have one type of material, uh, process parameters, one thickness, for example. And then what you would do is put it in, in a tool. So really, if you have to be you know, in the lab, as I did previously, is essentially you open your tool, you have to put the sample, wait 15 minutes for a vacuum to pump down, essentially. Then you place the sample in the deposition uh, system you deposit whatever you want to deposit. So you need to wait maybe a few hours to do this. Then you take out your sample. And here you have one coupon, as it's called in this industry, with one set of parameters, essentially, for this, this specific material, right? And this, as, as you've understood now, may take a few hours for one sample. So what is the actual value of this? is that instead of having to deposit on the full coupon, then you can deposit on a piece of this coupon, essentially, with one set of uh, parameters, right? Which means instead of having to do this process multiple times, or so an engineer or a student would come and repeat this multiple times to have different thicknesses, different material properties, uh, etc. And in that case, then you could make a line or a square that is the size of what is necessary for the characterization tool you would use afterwards to characterize this set of uh, parameters you want to investigate, essentially. And you will save enormous amount of time, essentially, in the pumping down of the tool and in the deposition, and also in space, because instead of having hundreds of coupons with different properties labeled wrongly as well sometimes as we do, uh, you would have one uh, piece that is two inch with different lines, different conditions, everything at the same place essentially, right? Which saves, you know, you might go from 200 days to actually make your experiments to a week, two weeks essentially. So the idea here is to simplify the whole semiconductor process by being able to rapidly deposit multi-types of materials with multi-properties, essentially. So they would benefit in multiple ways. First, it's an economical benefit, right? If you save, let's say, 10 times, 20 times the time for investigation of material properties, then you save also the cost, essentially, of having engineers do this. Uh, you would save as well in uh, space saving because it's very important in the lab, right? It's one tool for deposition plus lithography, essentially. But also in saving for sample storage. So you need to store your sample in controlled atmosphere most of the time, which means that if you have one coupon instead of hundreds or thousands, right, you also save space there in a sense. So 
specifically for material development, the applications in the, in the field of uh, neuromorphic, essentially, computing. So what is interesting there is that there is still development on which are the best uh, metal oxides, as they are called, uh, that will perform the best. And for example, or in batteries as well, uh, where we are also researching which coatings are the best to have the most durable batteries, for example. And this requires depositing many, many samples of the same material with different conditions or different materials, essentially, to make sure that we, we tailor every time the material to the application, right? And that's what this tool is extremely good at, is to screen rapidly a vast um, uh, landscape of materials and properties for a specific usage in the end. So really, if I had to list down the, the, the applications, I would say it's mainly in optics, in electronics, such as uh, capacitors or oxides, uh, neuromorphic computing, for example, sensors, also very interesting applications, uh, novel applications such as quantum as well, are very interesting and just bare material research if we want to investigate you know, new types of materials, but not just materials that would be dedicated to a specific application. You will benefit the most from using nanofabricator light if you work in the sector of material development applied to a specific uh, industry. The extreme value of this, of this tool is the ability to save enormous amount of times when you develop your materials, essentially because you would deposit the material you investigate on a very small specific portion and on the same sample. So which essentially means that you would save times in pumping times, in deposition times, and in characterization times. And here we are discussing a factor going from a year of deposition towards more a week of deposition or even less depending on the specific applications, which means that for, uh, if we look at uh, R&D customers in the academia, then you can make the work you used to do with a student in one year, in one week, which means more published papers if you are in academia, for example. But if you are in the industry, it, it might mean that suddenly instead of investigating for a material for a year for an application, then you would have just one week for describing this material and being able to screen through a large amount of material in six months, essentially, to tailor it to your specific application and not be stuck with whatever was developed previously that you have to adapt to your specific uh, application.